Okay, here are my top 10 interesting artificial intelligence projects. So AI projects, okay? So let's go through them. Uh, if you remember AI and artificial intelligence, I'll use them interchangeably. But my first project here is AI plus music. So there is this uh, uh, group of musicians uh, by the name Ambassadors, Ella King and Wiz Khalifa, who produced a single called Not Easy. Okay, so it uh, debuted, I think, on iTunes uh, Hot Tracks at number four. And uh, you know what they did? They together as a group, along with data scientists and AI engineers, looked at conversations, newspaper titles, lectures, uh, based on the main theme, which was heartbreak. Okay, after after they looked at it, they found musical elements which gave them ideas on how this piece should sound. Pretty crazy, yeah? So using machines and artificial intelligence to come up with the right kind of music, or the music which might be popular, okay? Number two, AI and driving. So we have Volvo, the brand, who has claimed, apparently, this, uh, this car of theirs can actually do job interviews. So uh, what they're trying to prove is that this machine, which they have, uh, the brains within their car can actually uh, run uh, enough AI, artificial intelligence, that it can actually have a conversation with you or even take your own job interview. But that sounds a little far-fetched, I would say, but it's here. Um, but practically, they have uh, servicing going on of cars uh, proactively. What does that mean? They would, uh, before the car actually break down, uh, breaks down, what they would do is send all that information to their AI engine and figure out if it needs servicing, right? So all that information they use for sending cars for servicing. Uh, not only do they have uh, uh, driverless cars uh, uh, right now, like Tesla, for example, Tesla has its own driverless car. Uh, or, you know, uh, um, the AI around that is just amazing. You probably have heard about it already. We have driverless trucks now. Okay, so Volvo is also interested uh, in getting that out into the market quickly. So that'll be fun. When we see big, large trucks on the road, you know, uh, without a driver inside it. Kind of creepy again, but that's what's happening. AI plus cooking. So we have Chef Watson from IBM. Who have uh, who has uh, solved this problem for us? When you just tell Mr. Watson what ingredients you would like to use, it'll come back with a dish uh, uh, which uh, you know is ba which is based on the ingredients you just provided. So it's uh, that kind of cognitive cooking. That's what uh, IBM is pitching, where you know it look at what's uh, what's in your fridge and what you like and your health conditions and propose those recipes automatically so you have your own private chef okay number four is ai plus farming this is kind of cool because you know what john deere the other company who is into ai i think they just bought this uh, startup they can scan the fields and figure out you know targeted uh, pesticides for the ones which actually require pesticides instead of just doing a uh, spray at everything you have targeted pesticides now that has a huge impact to our earth and I'm pretty impressed that AI is used in farming okay number five AI plus sexuality so a study from Stanford has uh, found a computer algorithm using AI that could distinguish uh, between gay and straight men and the accuracy levels of that is 81% for males and uh, around 74% for women. So they can look at a picture and, you know, gauge your uh, sexual preferences. Pretty interesting again. Uh, unique, unique AI application. Now we have another one, uh, again, large uh, company like Facebook, who has... Uh, figure out based on the posts you do and the timing of the post and the content of the post and the person who's posting if you are you know in distress there if you exhibit any sort of uh, you know suicidal tendencies or uh, 
anything which you might do uh, in terms of an extreme behavior which could affect people around you. And in this case, you know, uh, he said, hey, Gerald, a friend thinks you might be going through something difficult and asked us to look at your recent post. See, so that's kind of a notification which is, uh, uh, and you, you know, they do a proactive reach out. And uh, in terms of images, you look at images and you can see, you know, if a person is upset or not. Now there are other companies who are doing it and, uh, you know, proactively saying, hey, do you want to contact a help, help, helpline? Instead of, instead of you doing something drastic. So saving people's lives, AI. Now, AI, this is another one which is beautiful for me at least, right? Looking at saving not just people, any living being on this beautiful planet of ours, saving fishes, okay? So this is a combination of this nonprofit organization called Global Fishing Watch, which works with Google, and they have all these inputs coming in, satellite uh, data points, uh, they have boat positions, you know, positions of boats every day, and a lot of data along with uh, tracking, and labor tracking areas. So, and they get, uh, uh, you know, information around where fishing is happening. In case fishing is happening illegally, they get notified. Now they have a huge team which will notify the correct authorities. And uh, this combination of beautiful interactive maps and open data, uh, solves this problem around, you know, uh, sustainable fishing and keeping endangered uh, fishes uh, alive. So great, great job there by this team. Uh, number eight, AI plus experience. So experience is pretty unique and personalized for everybody. So uh, Disney has this magic band, as you see here, pretty cool, which uh, takes in a lot of data points on where you have traveled, what your intent is while traveling, um, or while touring Disney's uh, unique uh, properties and gives you that basic experience which uh, excites you. So for example, if you take the magic band and you made a reservation, a host will come and greet you uh, already knowing your name. Pretty unique. That's, you know, I wouldn't say that's crazy, crazy AI tech, but still worth it. But not only that, you don't have to wait in line. So they see, wait for you to walk across the property. And by the time you reach the property, they will... Uh, route the traffic so that you have the best experience, right? So best experience, your preference, all, all you know, tailored for you. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Finding cancer early. A lot of, a lot of companies are doing this. If you think about it, AI is really, really good at meeting or uh, dealing. Sorry, dealing with a lot of data and finding patterns. So looking at X-rays and scans of your body and giving you early early warning signals. A lot of doctors are going to start using this very soon. I don't think this is even going to be uh, this year or, uh, you know, it's not going to be like next year or three, five, 15 years from uh, 15 years from now. It's happening right now as we speak, right? As we speak, a lot of, a lot of the universities, medical universities and hospitals are already doing this. Lung cancer, you know, uh, tumors, all these are getting scanned earlier and uh, AI is using uh, unique healthcare technology to uh, find uh, cancer and other uh, critical illnesses up front. Okay, number 10, pretty interesting. So it's not just AI for our earth and technology within the uh, realms of our physical uh, space, which is just earth, <laughs> but it has crossed the frontier and gone into space. So uh, Rover's technology, which is the, uh, I believe the 2020 mission into Mars, pretty exciting, 2020 missions. Imagine that probably next year, uh, we will have uh, these kind of robots, the Rover's uh, 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 robots, um, who will understand using AI terrains and samples of the uh, samples of uh, coming from Mars and even can do early analysis and send that right information, just enough information back to Earth saying, hey, this is what I found and it can navigate based on the pressure, the gravity on Mars and uh, you know, ensure that they can collect as much sample from Mars so that uh, we have enough information to uh, eventually maybe go to Mars and have our own colony up there. So a second Earth, possibly. Fun stuff happening in this space. Talk to you soon.